Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Anna and today we are doing a grocery haul. I always find these videos very interesting when I watch them on other people's channels. I like to see like what people are buying and just gives me ideas for new recipes so I figured I'd share this week. This is gonna be a video that's gonna be all over the place because I have the grocery haul and I also wanted to show you guys some of the footage I got while in Florida with my family because I just went to visit them for a, um, some paperwork I needed with the DMV so I had one day with them and it was awesome. I definitely won't be able to see them again till Christmas. But yeah, let's get into the video. For our groceries, we normally use Instacart. These ones are a little greener than I wanted them to, but that's all right. Some sweet potatoes, some lemons, some broccoli, some bacon, chicken breasts. I got some nail polish remover because I did my nails in Florida and it's coming up already and I realized I don't have nail polish remover here. Cherry tomatoes, some salmon, some IBC root beer and we've tried several root beer since we came here we've tried like four or five brands and this one's like the cheapest one but also the best one I didn't like the taste of the other ones and I even tried craft root beer which I thought was gonna be better but definitely not these ones are the best ones so far and I'm not mad that they're the cheapest green bell pepper one butternut squash I thought this was gonna be way smaller than this we're in trouble, I don't really know where to put it. We have some eggs, another bell pepper, some parmesan cheese. We always use this brand, so recently we went to a box store and bought just like their generic like store brand. And we really like that one too. One frozen pizza just for the lazy days. We've been cooking a lot recently, but sometimes like something doesn't so on time or something like that. So it's always useful to have an easy meal. Probably we're gonna do that tonight because everything I bought that we can cook needs to be thawed. Some potatoes, some soy sauce, two zucchinis. I am always so confused on like what veggies to keep out of the fridge and which ones to keep in the fridge. Two bags of brown rice. By the way, if you want a great recipe with brown rice and like almost no ingredients, Check out the link in my description. I posted the recipe on my blog. It's a it's a butternut squash risotto and it's so good. Totally recommend it. I made it yesterday and it looked chef's kiss. Amazing. Some corn, some spinach. This time I actually tried to get quinoa because I want to kind of spread my horizons on what size I make because I normally usually just make either veggies or rice. And quinoa is pretty healthy, so I wanted to give it a shot. You guys saw these on the past my past vlog, but I've been obsessed with pita bread recently. I just put like hum a layer of hummus, scrambled eggs, cherry cherry tomatoes, and burrata cheese, and it's the best thing. Sometimes I add bacon. It's when I'm feeling like getting wild, <laughs> but it's the best thing. And Brock, whenever I make I'm gonna make it for him. He eats two of them, so we go through them pretty fast, so I got two this time, but this is the brand I buy. They're like literally so cheap and so good. This is more spinach. So this is Alaskan skinless cod, and this is two New Year strip steaks. Some uncooked divain shrimp. I've never gotten this brand, so I'm just hoping it's good. Some like genetic apple juice. These ones I already talked to you guys about on my last video, but they're just the best. They're like sugar-free popsicles. I think I told you guys about them. Got some honey for my tea. I probably overused this thing, but it's just it gives things such flavor. I used a little bit of my risotto yesterday. You hear that noisy? That's Maki destroying a piece of cardboard in the back. Mac! That is it. It's a lot of food. But we actually go through it in like two weeks. I think I'm gonna show you guys now the footage from Florida from seeing my family. I was very excited to be there. Even if it was just one day, it's always great to check in with them. I do miss them since I moved. I call them like every day. <laughs> they must be so tired of me right now. I'm at the airport. I'm at the gate right now. I just went through TSA. I'm flying to Florida in the middle of a pandemic, which is like so scary. And I'm speaking very low because everybody's looking at me for vlogging in public. It's my absolute favorite activity. So as you know now, I am in Florida. I flew to Florida for the MV appointment just because I needed some paperwork done and I just needed it done ASAP. 
So here I am, I'm at my parents' place. Wash the clothing so that they wouldn't have any contact with me. It was really weird to just like not get to like just hug my family right away. It was just very very strange situation. But I also like don't definitely don't want to get anybody sick and don't want to since and airports right now are like the worst place to be in. So I definitely I'm not sick myself. At least I don't think I am. I don't feel sick. I don't feel like I have anything. But just to be safe, you know. My parents have a skincare company, and every time I come here, like skincare and beauty company, like not just skincare, I feel like, because I have like hair stuff as well, and it's like all sorts of things. But, like so, like mostly like beauty skincare related, and every time I'm here, I just raid their collection because I just I love all their products. They like really really nice products, and today I did a hair mask, so I'm gonna show you guys the result later. I literally just got out of the shower, but I'll update you guys on it because we both know I've made some. Not so great things to my hair. I'm actually trying to go back to like healthy hair. Because right now, like if you see my, my tips just need help. As you can see, my, my roots are just my natural color. I'm not dying anytime soon because my every time I dye my hair, like my skin around the roots was starting to get like really irritated and I will get like bumps and just like really really painful bumps. So I'm trying to like let my hair rest for a while. This is a hair mask I was talking about. It's called Mud Hair Mask Mineral Rich Reviving. It's by Secret. And they're just like really, really good. It's made with minerals from the Dead Sea. So it's just, they, all the ingredients are amazing. And you're just, you're supposed to do it just twice a week. So hopefully I can snatch one of these and take it home with me so I can actually continue the treatment. But I love it. My hair feels so good. So I have seen these popping up everywhere. They're the cement mold sculpture thing. And I bought, well, my sister bought two before I left so that we could do it all as a family. And I have one in my house in Wisconsin and one here for them to keep. And they got here while I was already in Wisconsin. So we're actually doing it today. And I won't be able to see the result because they take 24 hours to dry and I leave in 12 hours but next time they see me they'll bring it to me and basically I think the process is you dip your hand in some sort of substance and then fill the hole your hands make with cement and let it dry and once it dries you peel out the little jelly substance around it it's gonna make a lot more sense when I actually film it. But you peel around the jelly and just keep the sculpture. And you can paint it, you can leave it as... I think we got white cement, if I remember correctly. But I'm really excited to... This will be kind of a review of this company. Pearl of my heart. And I have to say, like, even before... Even before receiving the product or even doing it, their customer service is so good. Like, I've gotten emails from them every week asking me if I've tried it already, if I like it, because their whole model is that if you don't like it, they'll send you a free kit once again so that you can do it again until you like it. Amazing. I'm so impressed with that. So let's, let's get it open. Update on the hair mask, by the way. It feels really soft. I let it just air dry because I'm trying not to use heat tools or any heat whatsoever. And it feels really soft and smooth. It's still a little wet in the back, so once it's fully dry, I'll show you guys again. I'm struggling to open this. So this is all the contents. It has like a little filing paper. There's some paint, and you have the mix. This is what they call, this is step two, which is the casting powder. So I'm guessing step one is somewhere in here. Step two, casting powder. And then there's step one, molding powder. So basically you are supposed to use this same bucket. It has some instructions right here.
thank you guys so much for watching this vlog this was like very chill just at home grocery haul and just a vlog from florida i hope you're staying safe i did a travel a covid travel tips video on, i think last week so definitely check that one out if you're traveling before you book your flights because there's some really useful stuff there like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video it really does help me a lot just to know what kind of content you guys like to see and thank you guys so much for watching love you all Mwah.